Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Beauty and the Beat here on CIB24.com. Well, although it doesn't seem like it, spring is just around the corner and we all want to be looking fresh and natural for the upcoming season. But no matter what season it is, I tend to see simple makeup mistakes that can easily be avoided before you leave your home. Today, we're gonna to be going over my top makeup blenders to avoid to keep you looking your best. Foundation is the first step we tend to start off with after our skincare regime and a lot of faces have simply got the wrong match. You wanna see a natural look which shows off your skin and it's a bit of a challenge to look natural if you're a shade off. A key rule to remember is when you're matching foundations or BB creams yourself, you wanna make sure that the makeup disappears into the skin when applied. Now it's always a great idea to get a beauty advisor to help you find the right shade that's perfect for your tone and feel free to go check it out in the natural daylight to ensure it's the right fit. If your skin is drier, I recommend moisturizing formulas, formulas that are creamier. And if your skin is normal, you could probably use any formula that we make. Once you've chosen the right color and the right formula, apply it with a brush or your finger, start around the nose and gently blend it into the rest of the skin. Always make sure there's enough coverage around the nose. That's where many women get red. Never put concealer on a blemish because it's going to make the blemish stand out because it's too light to do any kind of cover. Overbronzing is a makeup crime we've all committed at one point or another. Hey, I've seen girlfriends come into the bedroom looking like they've just swept a chimney. To avoid this major beauty blender, you want to start off with a bronzer that's suitable for you. Bronzers usually come in fair, medium, and dark, so go with the one that suits your natural skin tone. Next, start with a light hand and with either a blush or a contouring brush, gently sweep the bronzer on the areas of the face that the sun would naturally hit. In this case, the forehead, cheekbones, chin, and forehead. Finish your usual routine and you'll look like a bronze goddess in no time. I like to use a translucent powder instead of a powder that has color to it because it doesn't add any extra foundation to the skin. This just absorbs excess oil and gives it a nice matte finish. Now that her skin has a gorgeous natural glow, I'm gonna go ahead and do her eyebrows and lashes. Natural looking eyebrows are very important as they frame our beautiful faces and definitely complete the overall look. We always wanna be making sure that our eyebrows are looking natural in definition, color, and shape. And I think this is something we all could use a bit of a hand with. There's brow bars popping up all over the country, so feel free to check one out to get the help of a professional by either showing you how to reshape your brows with a powder and or tinting them for a temporary beautiful brow. Now, if you're doing your brows at home, get the help of a beauty advisor to pick out a shade that's right for you and gently fill in your brows, preferably with a powder. Now, powders tend to be more of a natural look versus a pencil, I find. Another great tool to use is a brow shaping stencil, which can be scooped up for cheap at your local drugstore. A heavy-handed mascara wand is definitely a simple mistake we tend to make. Now, lashes have been trending more and more the last few years, and lash extensions and tints have been sweeping the beauty world over. Now, if you're sticking to the good old-fashioned mascara in the morning routine, like myself, you want to make sure that you're not turning your gorgeous lashes into the my eyes just ate a few spiders look. Now, whether you have short or long lashes, thick or sparse, my personal assurance to you is your lashes look their best with a few coats of mascara and not 17. All of my mascaras are the blackest of black. The blacker the mascara, the more your eyes pop. Two to three coats of mascara on the top, one to two on the bottom. The best way to apply it is start from underneath, go as close to the base of the lashes as possible, gently turn your hand up, separating the lashes. Even for someone that doesn't wear a lot of eyeshadow or eyeliner, really black mascara will open up the eyes and add definition without being too strong. That's all the time we have for today. Be sure to tune in next time to Beauty and the Beat on CIB24.com and be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Bye for now. Bye.